guys, it's your pontiff here. How are you today? It's your pontiff. And today, I got some breaking news regarding time, peace, gentlemen. I've got a very good friend of mine. He's uh, coming on here. This He runs the channel Lux Report. Hey, look. Hey, aren't you hitting... I will be putting some question marks. I'm not sure if it's on that side or that side, but there'll be a question mark. Click on that, and that will link to some videos from Lux Report. Um, I got a frantic. It's Sunday uh, afternoon, a uh, Sunday night in Australia. I got a frantic phone call from Lux Report. Um, you've you've got some very very interesting information. Uh, can I ask you, how serious is this source? Can I ask you that? How serious is this source? You're talking because... about um, the, the messages, right, in the group? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about... Guys, I can't, I can't believe this. I abs you would not believe me? And, 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 and i got to be honest with you, unless I knew... Lux report personally, I would not believe this. Basically, we've Lux report has got a copy of an email, uh, sorry, a text message which was sent to one of the people who paid the money for the raise. And if you Guess zoom out, what? you actually see it's actually um, a direct message with Anthony himself. If you zoom out, you will see that. Okie dokie. Tell, you, you tell the viewers, please tell, tell tell the audience the news. Tell us the news, please. So this um, screenshot is basically being sent to me as I've been reporting uh, on the latest craziness that's been happening with uh, Timepiece Gentlemen. And this is apparently, I'm still trying to verify 100%, uh, um, it's apparently a guy that has paid the $2,000 to be in the private club to get the deals and the discounts. It's a wholesale yeah. buying group. And he's saying, he's been messaging Anthony saying, what the hell has been going on? Where are you? What the hell is happening? And this is a screenshot of Anthony's reply. Yes, I understand. But if we pre-warned everyone, it would not have the same effect. Give me a few more days and see what, We've cooked up, and I promise you, promise you'll be pleasantly surprised. Coming back, you were going to have the whole. We're going coming back. We're going to have the whole staff dedicated to that group, and every promise we made will be delivered on and more. I'm also raising the price of the group by more than double once our new video drops. So that's the cliffhanger. What do you think, Ra Lux Report? Raising it by more than double? That's, that's pretty ballsy, right? I got to tell you, I before I uh, started this, this video with you, I was actually... Uh, I was actually watching a video from Paul Thorpe. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you've seen the video. I'll also link to that. He, it's called Watches and Cars. What more could a man ask for? And he's interviewing a friend of his who's a car dealer. And he's got a Morgan, a Ferrari. And a, 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 he's, he's a pre-owned car dealer, one-man band. i got to tell you, the guy's got a beautiful house. He's got a piano in the lounge room. Just very classy guy. You know what? You know what? Mm -hmm. This car dealer works on trust. Reputation. Yeah. Reputation. What? You don't see him what pulling trust is stupid the thing. stunts. Pulling stupid stunts. Hey, I'm closing tomorrow. You don't see this guy pulling stupid stunts like this. i got to be totally honest with you. How many times can you cry wolf before people just say, just go away? And if it really was a rebrand, wouldn't you tell people that, you know, give them some kind of teasers, like some kind of uh, countdown or some kind of trailers or something as a teaser of what's coming, 
rather than just disappearing and, and ignoring even your best friend's uh, phone calls. And I, I got to be honest with you, I don't think Roman finds it very funny when you've got customers saying, I'm not going to give you consignment stock anymore. I don't think Roman finds it very funny when people say, what the hell, he spends half the day saying, what the hell is happening to Anthony? I don't think it's funny. Eric has already said it's starting to hurt his business. And that Nico, I saw Nico in a recent, geez, he's put weight on. I don't know if you've seen Nico. My God, he's ballooning out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was fat at Christmas. Man, that guy is going to be Federico in the making. He's putting on the pounds, man. <laughs> i got to be totally honest with you. I mean, he, he kind of look. You look at some old pictures of Nico. He kind of looked handsome Dutchman, if there is such a thing as a handsome Dutchman. He is putting on the pat Man, the guy is... The guy's got to get onto the uh, the treadmill. But I mean, I, I'm a fat guy myself, but man, take care. You're going to have a heart attack, man. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself. i got to tell you, in Nico's case, I'm kind of hoping it does cause trouble for him because he's just a jerk. <laughs> but, 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 but for Eric... And for Roman, man, it's not funny. And that other dickhead, Adrian, I don't even like him. He looks like he's a... Uh, I n never really liked Adrian. He's a bit of a, a goose. Um, but, man, for Roman, Roman doesn't deserve that. Roman gave you friendship. He kissed your asshole. He, 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 everything was going to go well. They're going to do the Netflix. You just burnt, every, you burnt all the credibility. Also, also, if you're talking about trust... If you're sending in a consignment piece that's worth ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, would you be happy with one of your younger employees wearing it to go for lunch and wearing it to his uh, personal private events or just swinging it around the office? I don't think I'd want my watch swung around the office and Has showcased that? like that. Has he done I that? Think I, I've I, seen, watched... I think I've seen some of those kind of antics on his videos. Like they seem to share uh, watches uh, yeah. as if they're as if they're pork pies. Okay, can I can I share something personal with you or not really? Sure, go ahead. It's just me and you. Okay, because I've actually I haven't done this before. I'm gonna just hang on. Let me let me let me share this because I want to show you something. Um, I want to show you something, okay? Just, 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 just hang on there. I want to show okay, you okay. something. This is kind of personal. Just hang on. I just want to get it. Just let me get the the screen here. Uh, share. Share screen. Just hang on. Okay, I want to show you this here. Look at this. Okay. This is from Anthony himself there. Um, yeah, we see it. And, and what it actually, what he actually says here is, "Hi, Archie. Thanks." And th this is this is the message here. He sends me. He goes, "I'm smarter than you." Okay. And he says to me, "I'm smarter than you." And he sends me this thing. He registered the trademark. Cool man. Especially with your partners, Roman, Eric, and Nico. You're the king of douchebags. Yet. Yeah. This is what Anthony says to me. So he's 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 actually okay. communicate. Yet you can't stop talking about me. So who's really winning? And I said, but you're a dick. I'll talk about anything that rates well. That doesn't mean I lo respect or like you. You're a fikewit. You are hurting your friends, Roman, Eric. Real dick move. No one will ever consign to you again. This is a stupid move. Your ego is out of your ego is out of control, and you can't see the truth. So I see the the double blue ticks. He's read them, but he doesn't want to reply He's to the them. truth. Right? He's read them. I got to be completely honest with you. This here is marketing genius or stupidity. I got to tell you, in this game, you get one chance to make a first impression. One chance to make a first impression. You get one chance to 
keep your reputation and he's blown it. He doesn't realize he's spent his reputation. So do you really think people are going to spend $4,000 now, double the money? <laughs> what, what do you think? Tell me what you think. What do you think? Seriously. Well, it, it, even if he offers something extraordinary, he has some kind of extra offer to give people in this group. I, I wouldn't give him my money. I really, I wouldn't care about the extra deal or whatever he's going to give away extra. Um, I really wouldn't want to give him my money. And would anyone else want to do that? Is I think he's burned his bridges now. And it's like you say, it's all about trust. And if you look at his uh, the, the, the new report as well, there's another lawyer that's just come out. So there's a second lawyer now that's come out. And uh, have, have you seen that report? You were mentioning this to me just before we started. Tell me about it, please. Tell me, tell so, me. So there's another lawyer that's come out. Um, the previous one, I haven't got his name to hand, but the previous one was on a Texas local news uh, network. Yeah. And there's another one that's just come out. It's a lady. She's just put out a YouTube video. And she is actually from a law firm called i'll get the name yeah um, i'm just gonna get the name for you one second yep 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 uh tyler she, her firm. name is tyler yeah, yeah her name is tyler and it's from burger law firm and uh, she basically just says she, she never uh, uh denies his whereabouts or says uh, where he is it's basically a BS uh, video. It's about a minute long. It doesn't really have any context. Uh, exactly like the TV um, news one, there was no context to it. It was just basically either it's a marketing thing to continue the yeah. the hype or it's just him trying yeah. to get more time. But um, it's very interesting with this lady called Tyler. If you look, I sent you a link. Mm. She has a bit of a shady background herself. Yeah. What, 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 how do you mean shady? What, what do you mean? Well, according to law.com, she used yeah. to work um, for another um, law company. And she was actually, her job was to uh, deal with referrals and sign up new clients. Um, yeah, and she's like a BDM, she, business development manager. Yeah, she worked at a company called Fears Natchawati in Dallas. Yeah. And she is now a solo practitioner, and she was secretly yeah. signing up the clients to her own personal law firm and telling them to send payments to her firm's bank account. How crazy is that? Oh my so God. would you want this would you want this lawyer is uh, to work for you when you when she's got her own shady history? I gotta tell you. I wanted to just mention something. The other day I got trolled. I received a email at the Archie Luxury 72 at gmail.com. You never believe this. I had this lady came to me and said, I saw Anthony at Nick and Sam's. Yeah. <laughs> She's attached a photo. I did a Google on a phone number. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. did a Google on a phone number. I find out she's a marketer. Okay. She can give me a deal on a home loan and a coffin. And okay. She's a marketer. Marketing, coffins, and mortgages. Okay. Okay. Three three very different businesses. <laughs> okay, and, nice. And uh, you know, she tells me she see saw him at Nick and Sam's and and what do you think? You know, you know, you know how I got alerted to this could be fake? You know how? How many oh. attractive women email me with their phone number? Do you know how many attractive women have emailed me with their phone number? <laughs> I, I don't know of any attractive women that have uh, gone anywhere, anywhere near you, to be honest. <laughs> You've had Mimi T. That... She was, yeah. Yeah. I, I got to be honest with you. I was known as the octopus in Nana Plaza. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously. I don't get solicitations from attractive women <laughs> saying they've seen Anthony at Nick and Sam's. And it turns out I wasn't the only one 
who got this email. So many other people did as well. So it's like a copy and paste email or thing, right? Yeah, copy and paste. And I rang her. I rang her. And she said, yeah, yeah, I saw him at Nick and Sam's. I'm a fan of the channel, blah, blah, blah. I said, hang on a minute. How do you even know me? How do you even... Oh, yeah, I saw him. I was at Nick and Sam's. Hang on a minute. And it was all just marketing. So she's, she's a lady. She's a watch fanatic. She she loves watches, and she saw him in the in the in the restaurant. Who knows? <laughs> and she the first person then, she messaged with you. Then the other thing is that watch collecting lifestyle magazine that did this was the the magazine that had the expose on Anthony. Okay. Yes. I never heard of them before. I've never heard of them. Like they got old articles, and there's they're well written. Yeah, yeah, but. It's not. It's not exactly Rob Report, is it? <laughs> no, no. It's not exactly Rob Report. It's not exactly. You, you, you hit it on the head. And uh, they run out of a serviced office, like a, a WeWork. They run out of a WeWork office in Dallas, so they're not exactly. Um, it's not exactly M Rupert Murdoch with News Corp. Okay. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Let me ask you this, Lux Report. When are you going to stop reporting? I'm getting so burnt out with the timepiece gentleman circus. I had enough. When are you going to stop? Well, it's 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 getting a bit boring at the moment. But with the new oh. the new update with the lawyer, it just seems to be every day. There's a little little nugget of information just yeah. laid in front of me. Um, obviously, we're giving. Um, uh, news to this uh, it's, it's news in the watch world so ev every news channel is going to report it it's normal, it doesn't matter who it is it could be anyone, if it's news we're going to report it um, it but basically, well, I'm getting some good Google ads out of this well there you go, Googles. there you go and um, well, tell me this, what do you think of Anthony what message would you give Anthony if, you, if he was if he was on the phone to you on in this conversation, what personal advice would you give Anthony? Well, I think he's just a hype boy. He's just acting like a hype boy, um, splashing to to get views. He's he's basically learned from you how to get views, but he's spending money, whereas you get the views without spending money. Um, I don't really get that so many views, but I haven't been that successful. Yeah, but I, everyone everyone trusts you. Everyone appreciates your work, your knowledge, and you've been in the game for a very long time. Um, he's just come along. He's, he came from nothing. Uh, you know his history. And he just thinks that splashing Which, the cash is going to get him. Are you going to join up at 4000 Tell me this. Are you going to join up at $4,000? Well, if it was 3999 I might consider it. <laughs> No, I, I'm, 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 I'm nowhere near it, man. It's what, what are you going to get out of it anyway, really? I, I don't see why he's going to offer wholesale prices. He gets wholesale prices. But no, how? It's impossible. He's not getting any wholesale prices. He's basically reselling you what he's already bought from from his uh, desperate uh, sellers. That's all it is. What do you think? He doesn't have any. Did he? He doesn't did, have any content. I mean, seriously, huh? I'm just getting so sick and bored of timepiece, gentlemen. It's just so boring. So, uh, here's you know? a question. He's... Here's a question. What What do you think is going to happen on Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday, the big reveal. What do you think is going to happen? Look, I, I got to be honest with you. I think he's going to say, hey, guys, it's all very funny. We're genius marketers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I reckon what's going to happen is so many people are going to say to him, it's a dick move. I'm not buying from you. I reckon... He I reckon I give him six months, he'll be gone. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely yeah. If, gone from the industry for being a dick. And actually Could making these... to a nicer guy. Yeah, I totally agree. And actually making these videos, it actually gives you an insight in what people are thinking and what real uh, investors and, and watch um, people are actually thinking on the ground. If you look at these comments, no one is happy. I'd say 90% are not happy about this. More than 90%. Nobody is happy Tell about this. Tell me this. Your contact, we're not going to get him in trouble by mentioning this raise, are we? No, 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 no. It's all good. 
Because I don't want to get so, him into trouble. That's all. Yeah, it's all good. There's no, there's no issues regarding that. It's all good. And tell me this: um, does does he think it was worth paying the two thousand? What does he say to you about that? Um, I haven't had a chance to go deep into it yet, uh, but I'll find out. Uh, just been sent the the information, and I was told to report on it. So, so that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. I'm sharing. Yeah, I'm sharing the information. Beautiful. Do you think this was fake news? Maybe we've taken a bait. We, we've got. I mean, I trust what you're saying. You, to me. you could. It's not fake news, and you could say that with anything uh, that's been going on. Um, I've yeah. seen people that have put reports out of consignment pieces. If you look at one of my videos. Mm. Um, I've been sent information. I've been sent the FedEx label. I've been sent the receipt. So I don't feel that it's uh, fake news. Um, I've been sent every personal information you could ever uh, think of. And this is a guy that sent in a consignment piece and he's not happy and he's had no reply. And he's even asking people to make police reports with the local police department. So so that's, it's impossible to be... Uh, uh, like another another dodge did anthony get in touch with him then or not i haven't had any update on that as far as i've been told it's still nothing i haven't had any update if he's had any uh reply okay Ho hopefully they get this matter gets resolved there because... yeah yeah it's, uh, he has a lot of consignment pieces so probably it just hasn't got to him yet so who knows but i haven't i haven't seen the one that's reported that or you know money gone missing most i haven't seen any reports of that so which is that's a positive everyone's saying they've been paid or you know money yeah. was being paid so um we'll see we'll see what happens but it's not good for his reputation it's not good for the trust and it's not no. good for the community no the community is very important we stress that i mean to be honest with you i'll keep reporting as long as there's a buck in it for me you know, yeah, of course. You know, I'll keep, no worries. I'll keep reporting. Okay, so check you out. That's the Lux Report. Lux Report. How's your channel going? Yeah, it's going okay. It's a new channel. Um, just getting into the swing of things. So I uh, will have uh, all the happenings and the news in the watch world. Okie dokie. There we go, guys. We'll wrap this baby up, and I will see you in the next one. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this... Timepiece Gentleman Saga ends very soon. See you later.